So over here you can see that I have a video right here and then if I were to go around and click on the video on the player area, you can see that I get dots on the side of the videos right here. So I can use these dots to resize this out this video right here and then click and drag to place it wherever I want. And I can use this little icon right here to click and drag and rotate out the uh, video or any other uh, content that you may have like images or graphics to do the same right here. So apart from that, if you were to go around and click on uh, this particular video clip over here on the right hand side, you can go around under video and here you can see that scale and position and rotate is an option right here. So I can go around and scale this out. You can scale it up and down right here. You can also go around and type in the value over here just like this, like 75 and so forth. And that is what you have as you can see. And you can go around and increase and decrease the value of the scale over here as well. Apart from that, you can go around and change around the position. So you can click and drag to change around the position right here just like this. Or you can use the scroll mouse button to go around and change around the value. Or you can go around and change the X axis position by pressing 75 right here. And you can see that the value changes out, the position changes out at the same time. So you can see that there's the Y axis, which is the top and bottom axis. So you can go around and then change this value out just like this as well, or click and drag it out directly. And then what happens is that the value changes out over here as well. Apart from that, you can go around and see that the rotation value changes as I click and drag around this icon right here, or you can go around and rotate it or type in the exact value for the rotation as well. So after that, you can see that you can go around and then use the rotation wheel as well, just like this. And that is how the footage is rotate. So that is how you can go around and work around with the video position, size and rotation inside of CapCut desktop editor. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.